In this video, we're going to look at solving for x in a multiplication problem. We need to be careful not to confuse 4x with 4 plus x. 4x means we've got 4x's together. So we were using these little strips to represent x. We've got 4 of them. And that is going to be equal to, or balancing with, 20 little blocks. Get this other problem out of the way here. We'll come back to it. 20 blocks. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What we're really interested in is what one of these strips is equal to. Notice we can split this left side into four groups, four equal groups. Let's also split the other side into four equal groups. Notice when we do that, each group has one, two, three, four, five in it. That means each X strip must have five of the little blocks in it. We can represent this algebraically by, instead of saying split up into groups, we can represent this, balancing through the equal sign, by dividing into groups. If we have four x's, we need to divide them into four groups. If we divide one side by four, we need to divide the other side into four groups as well. With division, the fours will divide out, and we find out that x is balancing with or equal to 5, like we expected. Notice, 4 times 5 is indeed 20, like we wanted. What if there's a negative value? Negative 5x equals 30. We can follow the same pattern balancing through the equals. We just want to be careful this is not the same as a negative 5 single units hanging out with x. This says we have negative 5 of these x's. So we need to split this into negative 5 groups, which sounds kind of weird, but we need to do the inverse operation. The opposite of having negative 5 times x would be to divide both sides by negative 5. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. We're just left with x is equal to negative 6. Notice negative 5 times negative 6 is equal to 30. We can follow this same pattern on these other examples. When we have 8 times x, or 8 groups of x, we split into 8 individual groups on both sides. The 8's divide out, and in each group, we're left with negative 3. In this next example in the middle, we have negative 4 times x. Divide into negative 4 groups on both sides always balancing through the equals. The negative 4's divide out, and we get x is equal to positive 5. Similarly, on the last example, the x is on the other side, but that's okay. We've got 7 x's on one side. We need to divide into 7 groups, so we know what one of the x's is. If we divide the right side by 7, we also divide the left side by 7. This gives us x equals 6. We can check these answers we found by replacing x with the number we found x to represent. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. 7 times 6 is 42. If we take time to be careful and notice when the operation connecting x to the number is multiplication, we can simply get the x alone by dividing into groups or dividing by the coefficient or number in front of the x.